What up, Fortnite fam? I'm Matt, and this is everything you need to know about the new Star Wars update in under five minutes. But before we get into any of that, remember, if you want to improve at Fortnite, then there is no better way than heading over to ProGuides.com with the link in the description. Our pro coaches are some of the best around, and you can have one-on-one -on -one sessions with them so that they can tell you exactly what you need to do to improve. Seriously, all you need to do is click that link. First of all, as always, let's take a look at the changes to the Fortnite Island this time around. The war between the IO and the Seven is still ongoing, which means more and more locations are being destroyed and damaged by the conflict. In this update, the area that has taken the brunt of the battle is none other than Tilted Towers itself. It feels like we only just got tilted back, and now it's already sustained some major damage. Hopefully, they'll be able to rebuild it soon. Next up, let's go over the major mechanical changes and additions to the game. A new big change has been made to the drum shotgun. Its long range damage has been reduced, as has the damage it does to builds. To offset this nerf, there has been a change to its headshot multiplier. Now, any shots that hit the head will have a multiplier of 1.5 instead of 1.25. Clombos have returned this patch. We knew for a while that they'd be coming back, and now they're finally here again. Obviously, with May the 4th being tomorrow, it's no surprise that a major feature of today's update is Star Wars. Both lightsabers and the E11 blaster rifle will be able to be found in non-competitive playlists this patch, allowing players to feel like they're one with the force as the celebrations for Star Wars Day start up. An exciting new addition is Obi-Wan's lightsaber. Considering the Kenobi show will be coming out soon, it's not too hard to imagine that we may end up seeing an Obi-Wan Kenobi skin in the game in the future. You can also expect to see some brand new Star Wars based challenges starting from the 4th of May and a Star Destroyer hanging ominously overhead. As has been expected for a while now, Choppers will be returning to the game at some point during the 20.30 patch cycle. The chopper funding image has been added to the game, which means players will be able to fund it with gold bars at some point over the next two weeks. Interestingly, a new balloon icon has also been added to the game. This one shows the balloon as being made out of some kind of camo. Does this mean that floating around with balloons will also soon be returning to the game? Only time will tell. According to Hypex, we may soon be seeing traps in the no builds mode. As it stands, traps are considered building, so haven't been available in the mode so far. With this new support, however, traps may finally be making their way to the new mode. Recent updates have been sort of light on skins that leakers have been able to uncover, but this time around there's plenty for us to look at early. For the skins, we've got Guardian Amara, The Order, Panther, Blackout, and Zuri. Backerblings are up next, there's The Ordered Wingspan, The Stormfarer's Cloak, Serpicus the Goldbane, Bedside Nana, Panther's Crossfangs, and finally, the Enchanted Feather Fighters. Harvesting tools are up next. There's the Ordered Cutlass, the Golden Bane Mace, the Panther Tooth, the Empowered Dar, and the Storm Shielder Blades. There's one glider, the Mecha Team Glider. Now, finally, the wraps. We've got the Fresh Iridescence, the Peely Jamas, the Hump Begins, the Barcode, the Retro Rivals, and finally, the Panther's Call. And that's all the major changes in this update. It's nice to have so many new skins to get excited over again, and balance changes to shake up the meta are always appreciated as well. Honestly, this was definitely one of the better patches that this season has seen, so hopefully the rest of the patches for the season are just as good. If you enjoyed this five minute breakdown, then don't forget to like the video and subscribe. There are a ton of awesome videos on the channel, two of which are on the screen right now. Go check them out.